Friends, sending out good vibes to you this week. Old Dr. Digger feels so good and light on his feet because we got to play live music in front of socially distanced, sold out shows in Iowa this last week. Thank you folks for coming out to see us. And we want to thank all of you for supporting live music. I see optimism around the corner. People are figuring out ways to have live shows. And if you get a chance, support your favorite bands by going to their websites, buying their merchandise, buying the live streams. Keep those bands alive because someday soon, someday very soon, we're going to get back to doing live shows again on a consistent basis. Thank you for supporting us. And you know what? I feel pretty good because I don't have the weight of that old feud weighing me down. Well, I've been backing off in good faith since Buddy Milton got the athlete's foot in his eye. How does that happen? And Darren Nicholson ain't been around either since we caught him on security cam out there in the Elixir barn. Yeah, we got you, Darren Nicholson. I also got you on video trying to use one of my sheep as a coat, and I don't mind that. A half-naked drunk man needs something to keep him warm. But getting that Cheeto dust out of that sheep wasn't easy. But that's all behind us. Let's get to some cooking. I want to do a recipe that's been handed down in my family for generation after generation. I'm just kidding you. It's the only thing we had in the pantry. Let's do a chicken soup today. We interrupt your program for some cane spur breaking news. About to give a statement is folk singer Denver Charles. Vines, vines. Vines from the trees, vines that grow around my heart. Vines, vines everywhere, vines. Are you rolling? Yes. This is something that I'm familiar with. I actually have a radio show that reaches one and a half counties the largest of its kind in the area in western West Virginia. You've probably heard of it. Uh, Cabin Dwellers Lament. And um, so I'm quite familiar with production. So... Would you care to answer a few questions? Did you take part in the destruction of the Bobby Osborne exhibit? I've written over 12,000 songs, none of which contained violence of any kind. That really didn't answer my I, question. Well, I'm not done answering your question. Grass on a hill covered in leaves. Berry vines grow all the time. Did you touch the Bobby Osborne hot dog? Let me get, let me do this in full detail here. I, the train was so cold in my name. As it goes on down the track. Train was so cold in my name. Oh, how I wish it would bring me back. Do you have a beef with bluegrass music? It's funny you say that, because I run a rescue, my wife Lagoon and I run a rescue for tumbler pigeons that have been discarded like trash at an alarming rate of six every three months. And they're also dying at an alarming rate of two per year from flatulent cows. So when you say beef, that means something to me. It's near and dear to my soul and my heart. Do you want to make any comment on the museum? 
It wasn't me. I was singing a song about trees. I wasn't there. I was writing a poem about air. It wasn't me. And now back to cooking with Dr. Digger. Enjoy ye program. I'm gonna start off a little bit of hillbilly tofu. Chicken thighs, about four or five of them in a large pot. Cover with some water, some salt, some pepper, some thyme. We're gonna start building the stock and that's the base for this delicious chicken soup. When them thighs get done, I'm gonna take them out of the pot and I'm gonna take that chicken skin off the thighs and set it aside. Got a little something something for you at the end of this soup. Take the chicken off the bone and I like to shred my chicken with my KitchenAid mixer. Look how easy this is and how nice that chicken turned out. Pour that stock out of your pot, get your pot nice and hot. A little bit of bacon grease. Then I'm gonna add my veggies, which I got some celery, some onions, some red bell pepper, some sugar snap peas, and some garlic. Add a little salt and pepper. Let that cook down a little bit in that bacon grease. Then I'm gonna move it aside and add just a few teaspoons of butter, a few teaspoons of flour, and I'm gonna start cooking this roux down. Oh, that's gonna make that soup nice and thick and buttery smooth. When that roux gets cooked down nice, I'm gonna add the stock. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of legalized okra. Then I'm gonna add my chicken. Oh, and while that's cooking down, I'm gonna start cooking some cornbread. And while the cornbread is cooking, I'm gonna take my chicken skin, I'm gonna put it in a nice hot skillet with some bacon grease, shake on a little bit of Dr. Digger's digging chicken from Towns and Spice and Supply. When them skins get crispy, I'm gonna chop them up into bits. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it on top of the soup at the end. Then I'm gonna have a little hunk of cornbread with some butter. Then I'm gonna call the relatives and tell them I love them. Friends, thank you for supporting live music and live entertainment. The Cleverly's old Dr. Digger, even in Balsam Range, fellas. We thank all of you supporting us. We want you to share and like if you get a chance to. Also, pass the word around. We thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Y'all keep between the mayonnaise and the mustard. Choo-choo!